What is it to be a man? Is there some ideal masculine image that men should be living up to? I saw a comment online recently that was asking sort of this question, what it is to be masculine? I thought that myself as an anthropologist and someone with a military background and fast approaching 40, maybe I might have some insights that might give a little bit of clarity on this one. I am in the middle of moving flats, but I figured, hey, I'll sit down and have a wee chat about this one. From an anthropological perspective, probably the easiest way to describe masculinity is as something that is socially constructed. So we're not talking about biological sex, male, female. We're just talking about the performative masculine traits, or at least those which are perceived as such. A set of behaviors, roles, and qualities that are associated to men. In Western society, probably some of the most common traits, if you will, would be things like being responsible, uh, taking care of others, in control of your emotions, and physical and mental strength. Obviously, my weights are on their way to my other flat and I need to hit them a little bit more, but it is what it is. And of course, that's really only for my own physical health. The person that posted the question I'm sort of responding to here did highlight how these traits could just be associated with things like maturity. Might even just be of being a genuinely good person. In fact, thinking that way is, is really good because you are clearly thinking a bit more critically and not just taking this as face value. So, fucking shot. Also, maturity can actually tie into this. A lot of cultures have a rite of passage, which takes you from what you might say is a liminal period where you're in a state of not being defined as something to that where you are defined as something. You could look at the Maasai warriors, for instance. Go check out some of their rites of passage for manhood. Basically, by in embodying these traits and performing these rituals, socially and being seen to do so masculinity or manhood even is bestowed upon you truth be told with, without the social setting and with those to bestow it upon you it's it doesn't really exist so it is socially constructed it requires recognition of other and quite importantly it's not universal the masculine traits in one society or culture may not be seen as masculine in another those that are seen as feminine may not be seen as feminine in another as well not to mention it might not be a binary definition of just simply masculine or feminine a great example in history is if you look back to the conflict between the spartans and the persians where the spartans were pretty obsessed with their physical appearance and before battle they would oil their skin and shave their bodies and all of this stuff and the advancing Persian army thought these guys they're they're not real men but what they didn't know was this was a ritual where they were preparing themselves to fight to the death so that, that would have come as a bit of a shock throughout medieval Europe masculinity was celebrated as physical dominance in battle whereas in Japan with the samurai martial prowess was not the only sign of what it was to be masculine a code of honor loyalty and even expression through poetry was seen as masculine traits certainly when i was growing up to not be seen as a man people would label you as gay but what a crock of shit, obviously during my time in the military and i'm sure if any of you have served that you will certainly know of people as well that were openly gay and shit what kind of masculine ideals do you need these fellas get the job done they're tough as hell they're in control of their emotions and and very dangerous situations and heightened fear etc the stereotypes just don't ever match up i also like the hypermasculine example of heavy metal music it can have a bit of a reputation of being pretty rough and angry aggressive and masculine 
and the clothing is dark and moody and aggressive which is quite funny because it was actually inspired by the gay underground culture which in part was championed by people like Rob Halford, the frontman for Judas Priests, who's an openly gay man. It's always changing and it's influenced by often surprising sources. Just think about in the past where pink would be more of a boy's colour, now it changes to blue. It used to be pretty common for men to wear makeup and in some cultures it still is. So what society values as masculine is continuously changing and changes from society to society. In times of conflict, we might value toughness, resilience, the kind of warrior ethos. But in peaceful times, there's usually more emphasis on being emotional and intelligent. It really reflects the priorities of society at the time. In fact, our own interpretations of what it is to be masculine will change throughout our own lives. So is there really a ideal of what masculinity is? Sort of, no. I mean, basically, you're told what you shouldn't be and not really what you should be. You will come across people who might have videos about what you need to do to be the right kind of man or even create entire brands around that entire concept. They're, they're full of shit. I would take a good step back, have a look at them and think, what are they trying to sell me? Because I guarantee they're trying to sell you something. And of course, this is the nature of the world. We all gotta eat. If they're not doing harm, I say crack on. Some of them can give pretty good advice for people that are looking for it. But tread with caution. Some of them are just right cunts. The truth is that most of the time, this concept of masculinity is an unrealistic portrait. It's unobtainable and expectations are just completely unrealistic. In fact, it may even be harmful to you and those around you. Personally, I wouldn't overly dwell on or pursue a masculine ideal for yourself. We're always in the process of evolving as individuals and hopefully becoming better versions of ourselves. Just try to be the best version of yourself. Treat others with kindness and in kind only when necessary. Be fair, be in competition with yourself and not others. And of course, learn from and forgive yourself for the mistakes that you make. It's gonna happen. I have a kind of favorite saying of always find opportunity in misfortune. It's working out for me so far. Better get back to moving. I'll have a bit of a proper sort of setup going on soon. But if you found some value in this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, leave some comments of any other things you'd like to see gone over. I'll catch you soon.